Well, we're going to address the elephant in the room. Mm -hmm. We know that you are the former ex-wife or former wife of Usher Raymond. There's so much going on in media, period. You just, you just mentioned Sexy Red. If you had any advice for these newcomers that are coming into the industry, what would you tell them? I mean, you've been in, you've been in the limelight for a while. Listen, these new artists are above my pay grade. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even. She said, I can't help you. It's a lost cause. No, I'm just kidding. Right. No, I just want them to leave something to their imagination. Mm -hmm. um, I feel that they're just kind of exposing everything and saying anything, and they're not thinking legacy. Mm -hmm. I think they just should think more about legacy than clickbait. Mm hmm yeah, I mean, yeah, will you go viral for saying certain things? For sure, of course you will. Mm. But then what is your legacy? If you were to die today, mm -hmm. what would your legacy be? Mm -hmm. And I think that's kind of, um, you know, but I think that takes a while to get to that place. You yeah. know, I'm older than them. I, I probably could be their mom. I don't know how they yeah. are. Yeah, yeah. So, um, but your legacy, you want to be known for something a little more momentous than mm -hmm. uh the color of your booty. Okay, so being in the limelight, what's the pros and cons of being in the limelight? You were there, you were Fame married. is a drug. Ooh. Fame is a drug. It's a um it's intoxicating. People to remain relevant and to remain on top, I think people will do almost anything. Mm. And they feel like nothing without it. They they've attached their self worth with the infamy the popularity of the public's opinion mm -hmm. um i don't think i was ever there i think i was more disappointed in how they didn't receive me when i was like really in the you know in that position mm -hmm. i was disappointed i was disappointed in my sisters because it was really my sisters that were tearing me down mm -hmm. it was people that looked like me my complexion even probably had my same name you know, <laughs> most of <laughs> All the Tamikas of the world. I'm mad at all you Tamikas, Tamikos, Tamika, Tamika, Tanika, Tramika, all y'all. Listen, y'all didn't support me. Y'all was dirty dogs. But no, I'm kidding. I'm but kidding, let me ask you serious. that. Let me ask you that. Because I asked, I wanted to know the question because I was part of those people that was just like, what is happening? I know, they hated me. Um, do you think it had to do anything with your age? Do yeah, you think it had anything to do? I'm seven years older. I'm a little older. Or your profession. You were his stylist. Oh God, that should be good. He, he liked good style. He did. I wore stylish lingerie. I don't yeah. know. Mm -hmm. No, but I'm just kidding. But uh, <laughs> no, I I think it was a combination. I think we didn't have support from you know his mom mm -hmm. early on. I think people was like, well, if she don't like her, she must be mm -hmm. hell on wheels. And then I think it was that I was older. Mm -hmm. The main thing, also I had children prior and I was married previously. Mm -hmm. So those just that whole combination was like, we want her to, him to marry a princess, yeah. a princess virgin. Yeah. <laughs> I don't yeah, know yeah, what yeah. they wanted. Yeah. But it wasn't what he wanted, obviously. But you know, also it could be the fact that his fans wanted him to stay single. That could be. Or yeah. they thought they had a chance. Or they thought oh, they had an actual. You had a sauce. Yeah, they thought they actually had a chance. A sauce it. Yeah, so how is your relationship with your ex-mother-in-law now? I don't, it's really non-existent. We don't, mm -hmm. you know, but but we see each other at things, you know, regarding the kids and stuff. We're cool, yeah. but we don't have a relationship. We're not like friends. I don't go and have lunch mm -hmm. um, or anything like that. But we're cordial when we see each other or we speak. We're cool. Yeah, we're okay. Yeah, got it. Do you think you would ever be that type of mom for your sons? Like, do you think you would be like, you know, just not that cordial to their women? No, I would never be that way. No, mm. I I am very, um, I hate the word judgmental. You know, when it comes to my sons, yeah. I, I, no, I know the better word, protective. Okay. I, I'm just as protective, so I do respect and understand, you know, her, her, um, her stance. Her, yeah, her stance position. on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I respect that. And I saw, I definitely saw protection. I didn't see judgment. I saw protection. I think most women... It was a little combo. It was a little combo. Well, you know better than my, me. You, you, you would know. You would know. You would know, child. I wouldn't go. I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't go that far. But we're going we gonna to listen. I'm going I'm, 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 to say that it was protection. Protection. We're going to go in that. Yeah, she was very protective. And I'm protective. My son's 
can't and listen I'm a mom of all boys so you know mm-hmm. God's like ha ha you're gonna have your chance no but I'm, I'm very protective I don't want the wrong energy around my sons or the wrong intentions mm-hmm. and I don't think she ever got to know me and know what my intentions were mm-hmm. like I really loved her son yeah you know and I don't think she dared to give that a chance she just had her mind made up Mm. But I really did love her son. There's nothing she could say against it. I still love her son. Not in that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not in that way. Let's yeah. get that clear. Not in that way. <laughs> we got it, Tamika. Not in that way. To Micah. To Micah. We got it. Hey, guys. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe, like, share, and comment. You never know when I might be in the comments. And also, thank you guys for continuing to watch.